there? I'm here. What can I do you for, Congressman? Oh, listen, Clements. The taxpayer is picking up the bill for this call, so I'm going to make it brief. The amount of help I need from a man with your skills has tripled in volume, and that's a conservative estimate. If you're interested in helping me out with this, you can call me, and I'll tell you what I need. The pay will be more than adequate. Once you go down the dark path, it just keeps going, don't it, Stubbs? I'll call if I feel the need to keep you in the lifestyle to which you're accustomed. Billy, I just don't see how we have a choice, man. I have a choice. I'm free. I'm not a slave. I have a choice. Jim, I love you, man, but since you've hit middle age, you really lost something. Yeah, and since you've fucking been strung out on this shit, you've lost something. You fucking mind. Easy, Jim. Look who the fuck you're speaking to, huh? Hey. What's up? I'm just trying to explain to our friend here that possession is nine-tenths of the law. We should make the slopes pay us back. Billy, I got Chad on the phone. Pay us back for what? Look, we have a business opportunity here, Johnny. You think a guy like you should be pleased? Yeah, but Jim says there's some problem. There is. That H we stole. It belonged to the Chinese. The deadbeats told them we got it, and they want it back. So? Fuck them. Finally! Billy, Chad's on the phone about the meeting. Look, normally I'd be down for that, but these aren't the type of dudes you just say fuck them to. There's some heavily armed, pissed off motherfuckers who killed a couple of angels when they found out this shit was gone. Now, I'm thinking maybe we could strike up a deal with Okay. Okay. Yeah, why don't you just suck them off while you're at it? <laughs> and tell Chad I'm sober as can be over here! That's what I Look, told him! Look, I just think that given this war we're back into with the Angels of Death, and given the fact that one or possibly two government agencies are looking into our shit, that offloading the heroin would be a good idea, all right? And looking for a fight is the wrong thing to do right now, given the fact that we can't even stop fighting amongst ourselves. Yeah, you're right. We should probably all get in a circle, hold hands, pray, sing kumbaya. Kumbaya. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> this ain't no joking matter, Billy. We'll either end up dead in the ground or back in the lockup with you. I ain't going back there. I'd rather be dead. Damn straight. Well, you don't have to do either, man. I just think that getting rid of that stuff now is the right thing to do. Okay. Cops are poking around, Bill. We should chill out. You haven't been talking, have you? Don't go forgetting what happened when horse sang his little ditty. I never talked to a pig. There's a lesson to be learned, all right.
Well, Bill, I may have beat you, but you're still the fucking man in my book. Jim, Johnny, since you two were both so vocal in your support of this deal, you two are going to be the ones to hand over the brown to the slopes. What are you and your boy here going to be doing? We are going to watch your backs, because unlike this fat man here, I just don't trust those little yellow bastards. Good luck. Hey, they don't need luck. We're looking out for them. This better be cool, man. So, Johnny, this is, uh... Mm. Okay. We gonna be cool and do this thing? So let me get this straight. You are here to sell us back our heroin. The heroin my cousin sweated over in order to bring to this country only to have it stolen. Look, man, we can do business or go to war. It's your call. In this country, they seem to be the same thing, you stupid pieces of shit! Fuck you! We're gonna have to fight our way out of here!
on the Dragon Hawk Plaza in Chinatown. Shots fired. Possible gang war. Let's get this over with! man. Shit's fucked. Billy's been taken down. Where are you? Bill, yeah, he's fucked out. Thanks to you. I'm around the corner. We're coming. Wait there. Let's get back to the bikes. What was all that about? I don't know, man. Billy sounded pissed. He's gonna have plenty of time to think about his anger on the inside. Why'd he bring me into it? We got more important things to think about. Without Billy, we got no leader. You're gonna have to take charge of the chapter, man. It's like being made captain of a sinking ship. What am I gonna do? You're gonna stick by your brothers. We gotta pull together now. You're right about that. Let's see what Brian's got to say for himself. Suspect William Gray arrested in Chinatown incident. Units back down. Man, what the fuck? What happened back there?
Jesus, that was heavy, man. Fuck it. What was Billy's fucking problem? <laughs> Nothing wrong with him, buddy. You two want us to end up all dead? Man, Billy was right about you. I knew you were a rat. Now he's gone, man. He ain't gone, Brian. He's gone to prison. He's not dead. You ratted him out. You ratted him out. No, I didn't. He nearly got me fucking killed. You set us up. You always wanted to be the one, the man. You're a gimp, John. Now give it a fucking Judas. What the fuck are you talking about, you ass-kissing little weasel? Hey, Brian! Johnny's not like that, Jim, man. you're wrong, man. I know you're a good guy, but this dude prick, he fucked us over, man. He set us up and he called the cops. And you know why? Because they're putting heat on him. They saw him and they've been calling him. I know, because they did the same to me. And they told me you ratted us out. You keep talking like that, you are dead, my little friend. Fuck you, man. What? You sent Billy to jail, huh? Show us your phone. Prove you ain't been speaking to the law. I don't prove shit to you. And I didn't talk to no one. Fuck it. Come on! You stay away from us, you hear? Jim, I guess I gotta take over as chapter president now. When people hear about Billy going down, there's gonna be more pressure on us than ever. We gotta get through it. Brothers for life, man. Lost forever. I'll see you soon. I'm just an American. I like an American bike. Yeah, I understand. You older, Grandpa, so you like a more sedate ride. Some older, mature shit. <laughs> <laughs> give me that. I give you mature <laughs> shit, Malk. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hey. <laughs> Ew, who that? Malk. Sean, Johnny, brother of mine. All right. Hey. What's up? Malk's got us a connection, Johnny. I'm good, man. I don't need one of them hair dryers. Oh, oh yeah? You sure now? No, no. <laughs> Some serious hardware. Mount's got us a connection that ain't got nothing to do with bikes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, explosives. That's right. Okay. With this, we could take the Angels of Death out of business for a long, long time. Oh, you think? With that, it looks like we could take the whole fucking town out of business. Motherfucking <laughs> right. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you down? Oh, man, you gotta ask a question like that? Looks like you're going senile or something, man. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> Yo, you fools have fun, but remember this. You get in any trouble, you ain't meet me. Malk, I don't know where you got that shit, man, but one thing's for sure, we will have fun. Kai, play nice. Peace, son. Later, Malk. Hey. Later. Beats.
Jonathan? Job done, my man. Those deadbeats ain't a problem, and you introduced me to your new friends. Yeah, Malcolm to Sean a good guy. No bullshit, apart from the hair dryers they ride. Seriously, man, you should start using the brothers more now that you're in charge. Give Terry a clan call if you ever need some help on club business. Might even do them some good to get off their asses later on.